In this lesson, we're going to have a look at a cool delta slide piece played in cross note tuning. I'll tell you all about that after we take a listen to this piece. Here we go. A lot going on there, not the least of which is the tuning. We're in open D minor, also called cross note tuning. You can check out Tuesday Blues number 241 for a little bit more about what you can do in that tuning. But a quick recap, our strings are tuned D, A, D, and then F for that minor third, and then A and D. Listen to this, D minor cool chord. But now part of the real magic of the piece that you just heard is it's in the really, really driving beat. So there's a lot going on with the pick cam. Let's talk about that first, because I believe with a part like this, you can really separate what's going on on the fretboard and what's happening rhythmically with your pick cam. And what we're doing here is really just sticking to a driving quarter note pulse. And I'm pushing through with pretty heavy attack on the sixth and fifth string. And I'm also pushing through, and sometimes I'll hit the fourth string. That's quite okay. For the most, uh, for most of this, I've got a palm mute happening. So really, you're not hearing a lot of the note fundamentals so much as you're hearing that thump. But it's a pretty quick attack. My thumb is deliberately pushing through those strings and really just getting at that kind of kick drum sound, that Thump. That's what we're looking for. But now I'm placing some really heavy accents on the downbeat. So on beat one of just about each measure here, what I'm doing is pushing through with a lot of attack. And I'm doing so with this kind of move. This is really cool where I'm pushing through the strings open really, but as the time, they're, it's pretty much the same time they're being struck by the thumb, my palm is coming down. And so it gives a real staccato sound to it. It's not quite the same as that, you know, where you don't get any of the note, but what I'm doing here is, you can kind of hear the note for a second, a mini second, a millisecond, something, you know, but a very short time. It's a simultaneous move where the thumb is just kind of coming down pretty much at the same time that hand collapses onto the strings and the palm mutes us out there. And that's happening on the downbeat. So beat one and then palm mute. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Palm mute for those other three beats. And that's basically this driving sound that you're hearing throughout. And this one really pays to have your foot stomping right along with things here. All right. And that's going to help you keep track of that downbeat and where your thumb has to push through with that special attack. All right. But then we can turn our attention to what's happening on the fretboard. So with the slide, I'm sliding into the 12th fret on the first string. Most of this is played solely on the first string when it comes to the slide work here. But now I'm doing that on the and of one. So one and two and for the and of two, I'm hitting it and sliding back out. Then on the last little part, I do this little tag. So that's the open and I'm sliding from two to three then the open again. And that main phrase is really going to repeat itself quite a lot. So make sure that you can get the timing down on that and try to bring in the thumb picking here. And if you can't quite get that accent, you can add that in a little bit later. If you're good at just doing a quarter note steady pulse, then just do that just to get these two parts kind of merged together. Two, three, four, one, two. So that's what this thing looks like put together at a slower pace. Now the cool thing is the next phrase really is a little bit of a response to that. So if this is our call, we're going to start back up here at the 12th fret and respond by coming back 
and sliding up to the third fret and holding it. So instead of this ending, we've got this. Played it a little more clearly. So that's the first ending, here's the second. All right, then we're gonna go back and play the first phrase. So we've got this call response, we call again. we move into something altogether different for our fourth phrase and kind of gives us a little bit of a different uh, space to play in here. But we do end with that same tag, right? All right, listen to that part again. Now, I should mention, feel free to apply some vibrato heavily to the 12th fret and the 5th fret because we're hanging on those notes. So it can sound just fine to let them ring, but once you develop a vibrato, it's hard not to put it on there and it really calls for it. when you get to those notes that really sing and that they're standing out above the others. All right, so that's the first sort of four phrase package for you. All right, a quick recap. Calm down the bass just so you can focus on what's happening with the slide work here. And then we can repeat basically that whole thing, but we do something a little bit special for the ending, right at this part. All right, and I love that little lick, especially when we do that quick slide. Right there. So what's happening there is we're coming up like we're going to do the same thing, but instead we hit the open string, use that time to get out of this position and come up here to the 12th fret and we're going to drag off really quickly with a slide down the string down to about the second fret. It's very, very quick. Once we get to the second string, or second fret rather, pick that and come back up to the third. Then the open. Then we're gonna play some notes on the second string. This is the first time we're getting off of this first string here. Come up and do a second fret to third fret slide and then roll through and hit the open first string. Then we're gonna slide down to a pretty quick slide from five to three to kind of end us out here. From there, you can end this out. Okay, that'd be a great place to end it. Of course, you can loop it back on itself. Let's take that slowly. All right, now let's play this whole thing through and I'll play it on the slow side so you can really get an eye on what's going on here. Now I'll come back and we'll play it up to speed for some fun. Let's play this up to speed. I 
hope you enjoy this lesson. Now, this definitely shouldn't be your first slide guitar lesson. If you're looking for some of that, I'll link a playlist to get you started with some basics, some fundamentals of good slide guitar playing. That's going to help you. But if you're a little more advanced and you're looking for something to really get you into some Delta groove and sounds, this can be your lesson. So work hard on this, have some fun with it. And if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you dig this and come on back next Tuesday because I've got more cool acoustic blues lessons coming out for you. I'll see you then. Until then, practice up and play on.